Okay, now Gemini from Google has been available on a lot of Android phones, including Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, basically, Gemini is a personal assistant which is replacing the Google Assistant, and Gemini can do some complex tasks as well compared to the Google Assistant. We all have seen in the past what Gemini is capable of. Now, Google has recently released a brand new feature called Gemini Live, which lets us have free flowing conversations with Gemini. And this feature is now available for the Samsung Galaxy phones as well, and that is what we are going to take. A look at in this video. Let's go ahead and activate Gemini Live and see how exactly this works. You see, at the bottom, we have got this all new icon here. This is the Gemini Live icon. We can initiate the conversation by tapping on this particular button here. I'm doing this for the first time, so let's go ahead and activate this. Hi, I'm Gemini. We're about to go live where you can explore complex topics or ideas just by talking. But before we get started, take a quick look at this important information. Okay, it says tapping the live button turns on the mic. To turn off the mic, tap the hold or end buttons or say stop. Some features like extensions aren't available in live yet. Chats are saved in Gemini apps activity and processed per the Gemini apps privacy policy. Let me just tap on OK. All right, let's start chatting whenever you're ready. Hey, hi. Hi there. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. It's always nice to connect with people like you. How can I help you today? Can you summarize yesterday's emails for me? So, I can't use Gmail yet when we are live. For now, going live is great for things like chatting, finding answers, or brainstorming new ideas. Okay, you cannot do that. Okay. So what can I help you with? I'm still learning, but I can find things for you on the web, tell you stories, or answer questions about almost anything. All right, now I was planning for a trip to Japan next month. Can you uh, share the itinerary? Sure, I can help you with that. Planning a trip to Japan sounds like a lot of fun. To get the most out of your trip, I'll need a little more information. First, how many days will you be going for and what are your main interests? About a week's time and uh, I would like to explore some uh, good places in Japan. A week is a great amount of time to explore Japan. It sounds like you're focused on sightseeing, so let me suggest a few amazing places you can check out. For something classic, Tokyo is always a good choice. It's a vibrant city with everything Stop. from ancient temples to modern skyscrapers. Stop. Be sure to visit the Imperial Palace. Okay, now I have to say stop to stop this conversation. I can tap on continue to continue this conversation. Now let me tap on continue. Okay, so that uh, whatever it was saying has completely stopped. It will not continue uh, what uh, Gemini was saying. Maybe we will have to say something to continue this conversation. Can you start where you stopped? Sounds like you could be interested in a more laid-back trip. In that case, maybe somewhere like Kanazawa or Hakone would be more your speed. Kanazawa is a beautiful old town with a lot of traditional charm, plus a great art museum. And Hakone is famous for its hot springs and stunning views of Mount Fuji. I can give you some sample itineraries for either place. Okay, how much does the tickets cost? Okay, so for a ballpark idea, Let's check out round-trip flights from Bangalore to Tokyo. To give you the most accurate pricing, I'd need to know what dates you're flexible with. Do you have a general time frame in mind, like the first or second week of the month? Second week of September. Second week of September. So, for flights from Bangalore to Tokyo, Let's look at the second week of September. To get the cheapest fares, you'll probably want to fly out on a Tuesday or Wednesday and come back on a Sunday or Monday. If you can be flexible with your dates, you might be able to save even more. Uh, yeah, choose the best date possible uh, for next month. It's tough to pick just one without knowing what kind of experience you're after. But here's a couple of ideas. 
If you like cooler weather and mountains, a state like Himachal Pradesh would be perfect. The weather's amazing that time of year, and there are tons of opportunities for hiking and exploring. On the other hand, if you're looking for beaches and sunshine, Goa is always a good choice. Anyways, let me end this conversation. Let's start something new here. I would like to start a YouTube channel about tech. Suggest me something about Sounds this. Sounds like a fun idea. Something about what? You could talk about the latest tech news, do reviews of new gadgets, or even teach people how to use their devices. Which phone should I be talking about? Should I uh, talk about Samsung, Google Pixel, iPhones? All those brands make great phones, so it really depends on what you want to focus on. If you like comparing different phones and doing reviews, you could talk about all three. Or, if you want to go more in depth with one brand, maybe do a whole series on Samsung's Galaxy line or Google's Pixel line. You could even do a mix of reviews and comparisons. Let's narrow it down. Do you have a favorite brand or are you interested in a specific type of phone? Samsung Galaxy phones? Samsung Galaxy phones have a lot of great features. Maybe you could do a video comparing the latest Galaxy S phone to an older model to show how much they've improved. Or, you could do a deep dive into a specific feature, like the camera or the battery life. If you have a Samsung phone, that's a good place to start. You could do a first impressions video or a long-term review. Stop. When is the Samsung Galaxy S25 series coming out? It's still too early to say for sure, but the Samsung Galaxy S25 series is expected to come out sometime in early 2025. Samsung usually launches their new Galaxy S phones in January or February, so that's a good guess. Would you like to hear about some of the other stuff that might be new with the S25? Yes, go ahead, please. All right. So here's what we know so far about the S25. It's looking like Samsung might make some pretty big upgrades to the camera. There could be a 200 megapixel main sensor, which would be insane. Plus, there might be a new telephoto lens that gets you even closer to the action. Also, Samsung might finally switch to USB-C charging for all their phones. That would make things a lot simpler. And, they'll probably bump up the processor speed and keep that beautiful display going. Okay, so what this does is it will pick up all the information from web, obviously, and uh, it will try to sum it up. So the information may not be that accurate. Uh, whatever we seek may not uh, come out to be accurate. Uh, so we have to keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead. Now when we end the conversation, you can see that summary is also available right here. All that conversation that we had is available in the written form right here on this page. So if you just want to jump back and check out uh, what you have uh, spoken or what uh, was the response from Gemini, you can always come back here and check that out. Now let me have a last conversation with Gemini live. Which is the tallest building in the world? The Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the tallest building in the world. It's seriously tall over 800 meters or 2,700 feet. And uh, what about the second tallest building? The second tallest building in the world is Merdeka 118, located in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It's also a seriously impressive building. It's over 678 meters tall. How are they structurally different? Both the Burj Khalifa and Merdeka 118 are Y-shaped structures but that's where the similarities kind of end. The Burj Khalifa is supported by a central concrete core, while Merdeka 118 has three reinforced concrete cores. The Burj Khalifa's Y-shaped wings are for residences and hotel rooms, while Merdeka 118's wings are mostly for offices. Want to know how the design affects the way they sway in the wind? Uh, no, that's all right. Uh, can you tell me the third tallest building? The third tallest building in the world is the Shanghai Tower in China. It's a super sleek looking building, and it's also known for being super energy efficient. You might like learning about that. Why do you think they build these tall buildings? 
There are a few reasons why cities build super tall buildings. Mostly it's about space. Big cities are crowded, and there's only so much room to spread out. Building upwards is a great way to make more room for offices, homes, and other stuff. Also, tall buildings can be a landmark or a symbol of a city. They show off how okay, rich wait. and powerful a place is. Are there oh, any buildings? For sure. Are you curious? Are there any buildings? Tallest buildings are pretty much. Everywhere. Wait, wait, listen, oh, I listen, see. wait. You... No worries, it happens. Are All there... right, no problem. Just let me know when you're ready to continue. Are there any buildings underground in any of the cities? Yes, there are. Some cities have entire networks of underground buildings and tunnels. They're used for a bunch of different things, like transportation, think subways or the London Underground, parking garages, and sometimes even shops or event spaces. Would you like to... Okay, uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, the conversation is super smooth and, you know, uh, it instantly responds to us. We can stop the conversation and continue the conversation. Uh, so it looks like it's pretty advanced and uh, it's very nice to see. Uh, it, it's very nice to have longer conversations with Gemini, <laughs> just in case if you don't have anybody to talk to you, then you can just sit and chat with Gemini and have a good conversation for general knowledge, for getting any sorts of ideas, for uh, scheduling your trips, all this uh, purpose, uh, Gemini Live would be really useful. And maybe it could do some other tasks as well, which we will check out probably in the next video. Now this conversation can also be continued while the phone is locked. So let's see how this works. How is the weather today? There will be isolated thunderstorms with a high of 28 and a low of 20. Currently it's 23 and partly cloudy. You see, I have locked the phone and still we can hear the conversation. So, I can't use Gemini Live to make calls or help with tasks that require okay, me to stop. understand ongoing conversations. Stopping. Now, how is the weather for the next 10 days? Tomorrow through next Thursday in Bengaluru, highs will be around 28, while lows will be around 20. Tomorrow, okay. there will be Okay, just tell me whether it's Wednesday going to rain tomorrow. There will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 28 and a low of 20. Okay, now I would like to gift something to my uh, brother. Uh, next month is his birthday, so can you suggest me something? All right, let's find the perfect gift for your brother. To help me narrow things down, tell me a bit about him. What are his interests? He's interested in gadgets. All right, a gift certificate to a good electronics store would let him pick out something he really wants. Or if you know he's got his eye on a specific gadget, you All can right, surprise stop. him with that. You see, even on the lock screen, this feature works. Let me just unlock the phone now and I will end this conversation. This is just fantastic. Now, how do we get this feature on your Galaxy phone or for that matter, any Android phones? Yes, this is available on any Android phone, not only on the Galaxy phones, and this is available for the Gemini Advanced subscribers. Yes, you cannot get this for free. This feature is only for Gemini Advanced. We get a lot of other benefits from Gemini Advanced, uh, not just the uh, Gemini Live. Uh, there is about two TB of free storage that we are gonna get, and Gemini Advanced or Gemini will be integrated into the email on the desktop or on Mac. And there's an integration in the Google Sheets as well. And you can use Gemini Advanced in various different Google applications as well. So this is a chargeable feature. It is not a free feature that we're gonna get. You have to subscribe for Gemini Advanced. Now you see, I have subscribed for Gemini Advanced on this particular account. Now if I change the account, I will be able to see the non-pro version of Gemini. Let me select the other account here. You see on this account, I do not have Gemini Live. I cannot have a continuous conversation here. I will have to ask a question and Gemini will answer. And again, I'll have to tap on this button to continue the conversation. Now let me show you how much does this Gemini Advanced cost. Let me tap on this profile image. Here it says, try Gemini Advanced, I'll tap on this. Now here in my country, it costs about 1,950 rupees per month, Indian rupees per month. That translates to 23 and a half US dollars per month. You can also try Gemini Advanced for free for one month. Now, right 
right now I am on a free trial and if I really like it, if I want to use it, I will go ahead and subscribe. Uh, to be frank, I don't see myself uh, subscribing for Gemini Advanced uh, in the future because it's kind of expensive and I don't see myself using Gemini Advanced that much. Uh, like conversation is really good. Uh, it's quite interesting. However, I may not need the other features like 2TB of storage. I don't need the integration of Gemini Advanced in my Google Sheets because I don't even use Google Sheets. And even on Gmail, I don't need Gemini Advanced uh, for any purpose. But yeah, this is not it. There are multiple other reasons why you would use uh, the uh, AI for coding and many other purposes. You can use Gemini Advanced. Uh, so if you're someone who who is into that you can go ahead and subscribe it's a very good model that we have here you see with the gemini advanced these are the things we get with our next generation model 1.5 pro priority access to new features experience 1 million token context window uh, Gemini in Gmail, Docs and more, 2TB of storage, other Google One premium benefits as well. So there are plenty of benefits if you subscribe to this, but uh, monthly subscription is something which you'll have to go for. Or maybe there is yearly subscription as well, which is not showing up right here. If you're interested, you can go for it. Now, I don't see myself going for a Gemini advanced subscription because I don't see myself using all these features. Uh, you let me know what is your opinion about this feature. How did you find this uh, conversation with Gemini advanced? Let me know your thoughts and also let me know whether you have subscribed for Gemini Advanced already or are you planning to subscribe for this feature. Drop a comment and let me know. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe. More than 80% of the viewers on the channel are not subscribed yet and you still want to watch my contents and you engage with my contents, but I don't think you have subscribed. It is not going to cost you anything, but it will definitely support me to sustain this channel. So go ahead and subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. That's all. I wanted to share with you guys if you're interested in this home screen wallpaper I have left a link for that in the description go ahead download it every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper and if you're interested in these widgets uh, I have already posted a video about this it's from a premium KWGT widget pack called one UI you need to be a pro KWGT user and buy this premium pack to use these kind of widgets I will leave the links for the widget packs in the description you can go ahead and check that out as well that's about it thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe I'll see you in the next one cheers bye bye